everyone. If this is your first time here, welcome. And join the fan bam. Hit that subscribe button as well as hit that little notification bell so you'll see whenever your girl drops a If this video. is not your first rodeo, welcome back. And I'm glad that you're here to support me for another video. So, with that said, I'm going to jump right into this video. This is going to be short, sweet, and to the point. Um, I just was part of a conversation not too long ago to where as... Um, a group of people, it was Greeks, and there were some non-Greeks, and there was a discussion about um, protocol. And it wasn't like it was some super secret type stuff. That's why I was discussed in the open forum. But it was more to speak to the point of, in general, people don't know how to respect their elders anymore, and I don't understand. So... Some of the people in the group were like, well, for y'all to be Greek, y'all don't care about protocol anyways because y'all let people do whatever they want to do and this and that. And somebody else just snapped off on them. Like, they really just snapped off on them. Like, you don't know what you're talking about. And it's only so much you're going to tell someone who isn't in your organization anyways. Like, why am I explaining myself to you? But on the outside looking in, people don't understand that or they don't try to understand that. It's just like in your family. In your family, you have your grandparents, your parents, you know, depending on how your family is made up, and then the children. So at this point, the hierarchy goes, the children respect their parents and their grandparents. The parents respect their grandparents. The grandparents are just up there because guess what? They made what is here today. So, you know, that's just pretty much how it goes. Not to say, uh, respect is a two-way street. Ain't nobody talking about that right now. What we're talking about is paying homage to those that came before you and respecting them and knowing your place in that situation. And it always irks me when I see old heads or seasoned members or, you know, that's been in the game get disrespected. And it don't even be that they be getting disrespected for like something they really, really did. It just be that some people just so freaking disrespectful. And I'm like, who made you? Like, who told you that that was okay? And I just don't get how people get to that part. So, for example, and um, again, this does not have to be explained to anyone who is not Greek at all. I'm just putting information out there that's common knowledge. Um when you come in, you are brought in by the people who are considered your profites. And your profites, it is their job to teach you the things that you need to know so you can operate correctly. For example, um, I was somewhere and someone approached me and they knew who I was because they called me by name. But then they were disrespectful in how they spoke to me. So now young Danny would have been like, you know what? You finna get all of this smoke. All of it. But maturing Danny is at the point that I'm like, you know what? I don't even need to address you. So I'm gonna ignore you and act like you don't exist because that's what keeps me peaceful. I hate that it has to be like that because I'm just not in a place anymore to get rowdy. Now, don't get me wrong. Some stuff jump off. Yeah. But that's not where I want to be. You know, your girl pushing 40. Your girl pushing 40. And I just feel like I should be able to be the classy woman that I am. And, you know, it just irritates me when people that come in after you are just so disrespectful. They don't even try to get to know who you are, know who's in the room, know people's information. And it's just like, why are you talking to them like that? And you don't even know who they are. Like, that's Greek 101. You need to know who's in the room before you're running off at the mouth. Introduce yourself. How about that? If it's somebody you ain't never seen before, introduce yourself. And I'm not talking about old heads. Old heads ain't got to introduce themselves to nobody. None. Because without them, there would be no us. Just like if there was none of our founders, there would be no us. So you're going to respect your founders just like you're going to respect your old heads and your profites and those that your big sisters, those that came in before you that's out here with you that's grinding or your big brothers, you know, whatever it may be. But I just don't know what happens between when a person comes in and then they just get in and feel like forget everything I've been taught. 
Forget everything that's been instilled in me. Forget everything that I worked for. It's just, I'm going to do me. And I don't get why that is becoming a thing. And people on the outside be looking in thinking, oh, y'all just let them do what they want. No, they don't. You have no idea what relationships people have with the people they bring in as well as people that they don't even bring in that they do bring corrections to. So, I mean, this is more for the people that be sitting on the sidelines, especially those who are non-Greeks or outside of someone else's organization. Stop trying to tell them what they should have done or how they should have handled it. You know what I'm saying? Like if some stuff go down, let's say one of my, my pros did something that was just janky. Um, one, I'm not about to laugh with y'all about it or laugh at them. Two, I'm just going to acknowledge, yes, that was my profile. Yes, they brought me in. And that's the end of the story. I don't owe you an explanation about what they did. I'm not going to sit up here and laugh with you about my person. Because guess what? I wasn't made like that. Like, I don't understand how people think it's cool to laugh at your own people. Like, when they call your people in your orbs derogatory names or whatever. I know this video didn't went everywhere, which wasn't supposed to go there, but it went there. And that's where we at right now. So I'm, I'm going to go with it. If somebody's sitting up here making fun of your people, especially somebody that brought you in, why would you sit up there and joke with them? You need to be looking at them like, oh, this is how you roll. Cool. I'm going to know how to roll with you from now on. You need to be peeping the scene. Like, I mean, that's, for me... When I see people in other orgs go through stuff, especially people that I know and they're directly connected to it, I'm not going to be hee-hawing because guess what? I got that that Greek connection with them. I'm still there um, and Greek them. We're still a unit. You know what I'm saying? Not we're in the same organization, no. But that could be my brother Greek or my sister Greek. And I can still respect them and respect what they're going through and not join in on the laughter like it's funny. That's just like if something is going down with the Sigmas, I'm not going to be sitting up here helping roast him. I'm not like if it's me and them going at it, that's us. But if it's somebody else that's not with us, I'm not going to help you. I'm not going to laugh with you. I'm going to sit back and laugh at you. Because you thinking you're going to come in and break up some stuff, but that ain't how it works. That is not how this thing goes. So don't get me wrong. Like people then bump their heads along the way, but certain things, certain things you should be like, nah, I don't, I don't think that was right. So I'm going to just keep my mouth closed and you keep it pushing. You don't make excuses for what they did. You don't deflect. You don't get mad. You don't do nothing. You just say not like, because that's what a lot of people like to do on social media. They want to tag you. They want to at you. They want to whatever to bring you in to be like, yeah, ha ha ha. Your person did this. Woo, 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 woo. What you going to do about it? I'm not going to do nothing. Okay, you tagged me. That's my peoples. They did what they did. I'm out. And that's it. Again, I don't owe anybody else a explanation. And that's protocol. And first of all, I'm not going to talk with you about it. If I care to, I'll go to that person and talk to them. That's just how it goes. Again, that's protocol still. And that's across the Greek unit. That's not even inner organization. That's across. So I'm just like, oh, yeah, let me get back to what I was talking about, though, because we act like we forget who came before us. And if those people didn't come before you, you would not be here. Stop trying to come in these organizations changing stuff. Stop coming in these organizations thinking you're going to be me for me. You can do everything by yourself. You don't need to join none of these organizations. Guess what? Guess what? Let me tell you a secret. They still going to be flourishing if you do choose to be a member or not. So while we're doing all this extracurricular stuff out here trying to do you and stand out, it's okay to stand out. But don't act like you're better than the people that you're with. You're different than the people that you're with. Because guess what? If they talking about somebody in your org, they talking about you. And I'm not talking about if it's something personal that the person did. I'm talking about if it's something that has to do with your org. They don't respect you as much as they don't respect that other person. Think about that. Watch your circles. Understand protocol. Check and see how people move. Because again... If you disrespect Zeta, if you disrespect Zeta, we done. 
we're done. You disrespect my sorors, we're done. There's nothing I have to talk to you about because guess what? I don't have loyalty to you. That oath I took is to Zeta, not y'all. So we need to get it right, get it together, understand and follow protocol. You know, and that's a lost art these days because it's just too many crazy things going on out here. We got GDIs trying to tell Greeks how to be Greek. We got new Greeks trying to tell old Greeks how to be Greeks. We got, mm, I ain't going to talk about that part, but it's just, it's a whole lot going on. And people need to know their role, know their place in this spectrum. And again, please don't, and I, just, uh, I mean again, don't get caught up in the matrix because the matrix will get you effed up. I'm telling you, stop getting caught up in a matrix. Be humble. Enjoy your membership. Reap the benefits. Put in that work. Know your place. Pay homage. I'm out.